Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in on a streak of zero. I really want to try and actually genuinely build up like a 25 plus streak. Oh my god, it's regular Isaac. It's been so long and look, Resprite the dice. I told you I got a bunch of Resprite and it's a planetarium. What the heck's going on here? Uh, I told you I got a bunch of Resprite mods. One of them was uh, Resprite dice, but yeah, uh, planetarium? On the, on the on the spiciest of 1% chances. My god. Ooh, we should try and use this just real quick while we have it. Very, I guess, very unlikely to actually yield us anything, but I had to try. But yes, for today's question of the day, because we have a planetarium, my question is, do you believe in star signs and um, horoscopes, things like that? If so, why? Personally, I'm not a believer. Um, I kind of think it's just you are what you are and the stars don't matter. But I know a lot of people out there do. And I'm always curious to, to, to hear why people do. Because um, I think it's one of those things that people immediately sort of pass off as, oh, that's stupid. Or, oh, that makes no sense. How could that possibly be a thing? But then people have their own very specific re uh, reasonings. Could It could be religious. It could be um, it could be because of their family. It could even be because, like, their grandma that they treasured when they were younger taught them about it when they were a child or something really specific. Like, I'm not saying that will be the case for anyone. I don't, I don't even know if anyone out there will. But um, it'd be interesting to know. It would be interesting to know because there is absolutely no judgment on whether you believe it or not. Ooh, yes, a key. Um, I just, I'm interested. I'm definitely wanting to take that cell heart at some point, but we need a, we need to have full red heart health before we do. Right, so what we get in here, we get um, palace. Damage up for each new room explored. Special rooms give higher damage. 10% of the damage gained becomes permanent. When moving to the next floor, Gantz grants immunity to Curse of the Lost. Now, this is interesting. Never had this one before. Oh my god, it makes us look like an old man. I immediately love this. <laughs> but this is a really intriguing run. I was very much ready to uh, pop my D6 upon wandering into that room there if we'd gotten like Soul or something like that. But today, it's a, it's a whole new day. I, I'm seeing a planetarium item I've never seen before. And that's just exciting. But yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, of the resprites? The dice resprite there? I think it's really good looking. I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Um, and of course, like I said, there's a bunch of other ones. We'll see them as we go. But yeah, um, getting 10%, I really like the idea of the 10% of the damage up becoming permanent. It's like, it's a strong item as it is, giving you damage up per room. Also, pure is a good one here. But then on top of that, then giving you um, uh, the ability to keep some of it, I think is really cool. Right, so I... Do I want to look for the secret room? I don't want to grab this. I want to grab this because it's they're cool. <laughs> Honestly, they're just really cool. It's They're not even that strong, but for one bomb, it's cute enough. I'll take it. And so far, no need to use our D6. Of course, if, it, if either of these touch the boss, they will immediately die. That is unfortunately their curse. Uh, but hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> they won't um they won't perish too quickly. They actually do a decent enough amount of damage as well. Like it's not it's not terrible, but it's not good. It, it's kind of like having a co-op ghost. Do you know how the co-op ghost has like 0.1 damage and is just kind of there to annoy the enemy? That's kind of what it feels like having um having mini Isaacs with you. They they, they don't feel useless, but they feel next to useless. Hey, here's a, a thingy. Actually, do you know what? I'll take that. Syringe, another resprite here. Um, of course, many of you will probably, if you've browsed the workshop at all or watch any other content creators playing modded Isaac, might have seen some of these resprites before. Quite a lot of them are from the same person, actually. There's one person that does like fancy syringes, fancy worms, a, a bunch of other different things like that. Um, so all of those kind of come from the same person. But there's, there's obviously ones from other people as well. I don't know if anyone remembers or oh, both of our mini Isaacs died there. Uh, there was a guy when Repentance very first came out that just like, just resprited a ton of stuff. Wow, we now get a library as well. Uh, just resprited an absolute ton, ton of stuff. And I hadn't actually really considered any of their resprites because they don't show up on, on the workshop anymore because they're quite old now. Uh, they're, they're basically getting on for a year old at this point. Uh, they, they came out very close to when Repentance released, so I'd kind of all but forgotten about them. But I rediscovered them and I went through and, and picked them. 
picked and chose my favourite ones, and I think there's some really, really high quality ones in there. By the way, can I just say, this has got to be like one of the luckiest starts to a run I've had in a little while here. Like, we get a golden, uh, a golden poop here. We got a planetarium, great item, decent boss item. We've now got a library. It's just, it's all popping off. Like, if we get another really good item room, especially if it's one where it doesn't require us to reroll. I did just lose my devil deal there. That kind of harshes the vibe a little bit, but let's uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, if we get another one, especially one where you don't have to reroll, like it's going to be kind of crazy. Also, we got the fire rate bonus. I forgot that we still had range burners from Purity. And obviously range burners is basically useless. So getting hit, while we lost our devil deal, we gained something much, much better. Now, for how long we'll keep this, I do not know. Of course, it changes each time you get hit, but it can reroll itself back into the same uh, Purity aura. It doesn't have to reroll into a new one. So you could have uh, the tears up, get hit, and it reroll into the tears up. Um, but obviously, we're really looking for tears and damage. Honestly, I'd take speed right now as well. The speed aura would be fine. Um, I'm going to leave the library for last, even if we only have one key. Because at the end of the day, there's only like two books, maybe three, that I'd even take from the library. Book of Genesis, I'd definitely take over the D6 because it's very strong. Lemmageddon, I'd probably also take. And obviously, um, Book of Virtues. But any other book, I doubt I'd take. So it's not really worth going in when the item room potentially has uh, has more for us. I mean, we might end up getting another key. This might be all theoretical bullshit and we're going to get a key anyways, and it's non none of what I've just said is going to matter at all. That's, of course, a potential. Uh, but, what I was about to say, might not. Chemical peel. Um, do you know what? Considering we've got good fire rate right now, I know our fire rate isn't permanent. I think plus two uh, damage to our other uh, eye is really good. And honestly, this is one of these runs where I very highly doubt we're going to have to worry about damage. Um, because basically we're going to be getting damage the more we explore. Now I wonder, can I get a secret room? I, I, I should really check up here. Okay, I very, very much could get a secret room here. Damn it, that's unfortunate. Um... Do we have another contender? I don't really have another another place in mind for our uh, for our secret room. That's okay. Do you know what would be really really good with this setup? Glowing hourglass. Like just just think, like going to a special room gives you a higher damage up. So going to secret rooms and stuff. Um, and then, I'm, I don't know if the angel dealing counts, I don't know if the shop counts, but anyways, go, he said going to special rooms gives you a higher bonus, so getting to go to every room via glowing hourglass would be insane. Um, we did get a devil deal here. I want to take that for the planetarium chance, but I'm almost certain, because we already have a planetarium item, it won't matter. And we got Roid Rage, which is good, because that's one closer to spun, so I'm pretty happy about that. And also, it's a speed upgrade, which I'm just gen generally quite happy about anyways. Uh, we're, good, we're just going Mega Satan here, so we will obviously dip out of this and take the Angel deal. Let's try and make sure to remember to have a bomb. That's kind of the biggest thing for me in, uh, in messing up my, um, my Mega Satan routes. I always forget to save my keys. But you, you saw there we lost quite a lot of damage on going to this next floor. But we didn't lose all of it. We stayed at a base of 4.14. I think that's really good. Oh, God. Oh, my life. Calm down, boy. These enemies are scary. I right, got another key here. Are I... I don't know what that is. See, one big problem... One big problem that we have... Is this curse specifically, and Curse of the Lost, or Curse of the Unknown, I think it's called. I can't remember what the curse is called now. Especially this curse, though have a unique disadvantage because now I don't recognize the outlines of the item sprites so I don't actually know if that's an item I want. I'm fairly certain it's something spider based. If I was to guess based on the sprite it's a re-sprite of Mum's wig, Tiny Terma, or maybe even Hive Mind. 
It could also be a modded item I just haven't seen before. Let's find out. Sticky bombs. Okay, that was definitely not worth it. <laughs> I, to, to be fair, I am happy to have the bombs. But yeah. <laughs> oh, no. My precious aura. And it gave us the range aura as well. Heck. God damn heck. This does mean I will go in here, though. Hello, sir. Are you quite all right? This is quite a horrible enemy. Damn it, that was really poorly timed. Okay, well this is not fun. I don't know if hurting yourself on the uh, way out of care rooms, way in, in and out of care rooms, should I say, affects your purity aura. So we might have just rolled range again, or it might have just not changed. God damn, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Okay, luckily it didn't take too long. Okay, it does reroll it. This time we got damage. Obviously, damage being the operative one for us to get right now. Okay, let's move back over this way. Slightly problematic room here, but I don't think we should have too much of an issue. Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, slightly annoying to, to not be able to reroll that item, but... Like I said, Curse of Blight plus Resprited Items. Oh, God. Oh. oh, that was close. Offers a very unique disadvantage that I wouldn't normally have. Curse of Blight's one of those ones that it only really affects a seasoned player if it's an item that has a very similar sprite to another item, like syringes and things like that. Um, they're the only ones that really, truly get affected. But now there is a much, much higher chance, at least for a while until I start to learn them. God damn, got hit again and lost my aura. Um, there's a much higher chance that I'm not going to recognize things. I think that's kind of a good thing. Okay, we got fire rate back again. I think fire rate's my favorite one because it's like damage is good, but I'd always rather have high fire rate because that's going to mean that if we get tier effects, they're triggering more often. Oh, I got hit again there. Ooh, we did get an item here. Um, and of course, this is from my... Um, from my mod that adds item pools to these chests. I don't know what that is. Oh, Cambion Conception. That's got a new sprite. Cambion Conception is pretty good for us to get. Of course, those chests, if you manage to get an item out of them, 15% chance to get an item, has uh, a chance to drop, drop one, and it is themed around on-hit items. Of course, Cambion Conception is an on-hit item. Uh, this time we've got the Speed Aura. Speed Aura is okay. Considering our speed is at 1.6, six already though not all too good gives you damage up that depletes over the span of 20 seconds heals you for one one red part if you have ceremonial robes damage depletes quicker the more blood you use um okay i guess we'll just use that for the boss room then i've never actually had one of these before this is the thing as well with like modding the way that i have i've got so many new like cards and, and all that sort of thing that stuff like the sacrificial blood are probably supposed to be like not common but like way more common than they are for me but they're just not for me Right, anyways, let's fight the boss. We get ourselves a, a brief damage up here. I'm not sure if that'll produce. No. I can never remember with the sticky bombs if they only produce flies and spiders if they actually kill or just if they stick. I think they could be vastly improved if it worked just on them sticking but because I think it is on kill. If it was just on sticking, it'd be way better. Right. This guy's going down. Well... Uh, oh my god, I did not mean to get hit there. These, this boss needs fixing. This is another mod mod for you people. <laughs> for, I say you people. Um, um, I think that's chocolate bar, right? Yeah, chocolate's pretty good. Um, a mod that just makes it so that that, that boss spawns its little pooters not um, behind it. It's so annoying that it does that. Right, secret room here kind of clearly has to be here, right? I'll, I'll, of course, I'll check and make sure. Yeah, it's got to be here. Okay, this is knowledge. And also, thank you. Uh, this is some good knowledge. We now know that... Why did I just stand right there? To be fair, I'll, I'll just say that I was trying to reroll my purity aura. That's the, uh, that's the BS I'm going to go with this time around. Um, there you go, look at that. Um, yeah, knowing that going into our um, secret rooms is going to give us bonus damage means that we really should be doing all we can 
to find our secret rooms. Now, I'm a little uncertain of second secret room here. I'll, I've, I've got to admit, it's probably here. Yeah. Okay, don't shoot me, Fires. I've worked for this aura. I've worked for this aura. Calm down. Golden Bombs is rather nice. Sadly, it's at the end of the floor, but I will still accept it. Do I try and play this out with the Golden Bombs to try and get myself some good stuff? I don't know if I do. Let me just do a cursory glance around the floor. Basically, I want to be blowing up mushrooms. And that's kind of it, really. And I'm, I'm not even that bothered about taking pills right now, I'll, I'll be honest. Okay, nah. Uh, we will definitely check out our shop, though. We've got a lot more money than I thought we had. Uh, okay. I think this is Glowing Hourglass, right? And I think that's Buddy in a Box. Hmm. This is tricky. If this is Glowing Hourglass, I do feel like we should take it. It is glowing hourglass. It seems weird to, to leave behind something as good as um, the D6. But I really think that this specific setup leave... Like, it's, it's, we've got a very desirable thing going on here. Now, one thing I will just quickly check. I've actually just noticed something. I've been to all the rooms on this floor. Therefore... I'll get sent to the Devil Deal slash Angel Deal next. And there is a battery in here. Wait. Am I dumb? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I'm really dumb. It's not the glowing hourglass you're thinking of. It's Teleporter 2.0. You fucking moron. All this planning. All this theory. And I've got the wrong fucking item in my head. People are watching and they're like, Tell, who gave you a brain hemorrhage today? <laughs> what happened to you? Here I am earlier in the video being like, Oh, I'm a seasoned player. And there's me just like goobering the goobriest goobers by just completely misremembering what, what, I, what item does what. <laughs> that was kind of pathetic. I also should have uh, rerolled sharp plug again by getting that battery. I didn't. I didn't really think about it at the time, but thinking back on it, sharp plug is an item that I basically never, ever, ever use um, unless I have some sort of game brick that's uh, built around it. Otherwise, it's just kind of a dead item for me. So I really should have bombed my donation machine, bought the battery charge, and rerolled again for something a little better, or something a little more relevant. But. Birdie in a box, birdie in a box, birdie in a box is very good. Let's try and stay away from these goobers. Okay, that was pretty good. Alright. Strength card. I mean, I guess I'll take a strength card. Why not? Here's me just firing at a grimace for no reason. God damn, yeah, our damage has is, is, is got pretty stacked. I mean, of course, we currently have the damage aura on, so we're going to have more damage than normal anyways, but even still, our damage is pretty stacked right now, and it just keeps growing. My damage is big, and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my friend. Um, Chance for creep shots. I guess we'll take that. Well, as I fire it a tiny bit, but don't know how often the creep shots come. That's a, it's a, it's, it's a big boy. <laughs> That's one big ass boy. Damn boy, he big. Okay. Again, secret rooms are important to us here, so let's uh, keep an eye out for potential secret room locations. I've got a few in mind right now, but nothing solid. Yeah, these creep shots seem like they could be pretty good. I don't really know why it's a tears down, though. 
Why not just make the tier not fire as often? Also, we got that trinket that gives us fire rate based on how many astrological items we have. And of course, currently we do have one. Hello, hello. Okay, nice. With Buddy and a box combined, we are doing some crazy damage. I will check this out because we haven't bombed on the nation machine yet. Unfortunately, it was a traitor to, to our race. Oh my god. I'm so worried about losing my damage aura. Even though the, the fire rate aura would be nice too right now. I'm still worried. Right, uh, secret room. Not there. Could very well be here. Tis here. Um, we do not have a soul heart currently, so we cannot use that. Second secret room. I believe it's off of that room with the golden chest over there. I think it's down from that. Could also be up from this, but I think it's down. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, the creep shots are doing good work. Wow. Really good work. Holy hell. Might reroll that. Let's check our angel deal first. Ooh, okay. Well, there's a resprite, but I do think we reroll here. We definitely want our uh, key piece, though, so let's just reroll these now. Interesting. After picking up 15 hearts, Isaac gains permanent angelic familiar, up to five familiars possible. Or delirious. Well, I think we take this. It's kind of weird that we now have immaculate conception and... Um, <laughs> Cambian Conception. I, th I find that pretty funny. But having both of them is not a bad thing. I don't know if we'll really get much triggers out of them, I'll be honest. But we shall see. We shall see. Ah, you bitch. Really haven't got many Soul Hearts at all this run, have we? Haven't got many at all. Ooh, something I need to check out here. I did say I was going to check this last episode. Okay, they still haven't, uh changed the settings up on this unless i have to go into immortal hearts and then settings no okay i don't know uh yeah i guess we'll take this why not there's battery charges about but i think they're over rock so i think we can actually get them um yeah i think we just bail from this floor now i don't know how likely us getting another angel deal is at this point reasonably likely, right? I uh, will take this. Ooh, I love this Isaac. Whoa! They very much so changed the visuals of these chests, and they very much so look a lot better. I love the look of this. Wow. You really gonna play me like that, game? You really gonna play me like that? That's horrible. That's just one of the most evil and despicable things I've ever seen a game do to a man. That is genuinely barbaric. Giving me a spicy red item. By the way, gotta say, having a cracked key and a, a, cra a red chest in, the, in a crimson chest, I think they're called, in the same room. Unless it's a low chance for a cracked key and I got lucky. But if that's a guaranteed spawn, even if that cash room is rare, that's way too strong for a cash room. <laughs> Anyhow, let's keep on moving. Yeah, Magician's probably pretty good here. In fact, no. I was going to say I'll use it in this room, but I don't think I actually need to. This room isn't all that bad. At the minute, I'm kind of feeling like we're not in a great spot. Here's another Resprite. But it's because... Um, by the way, I figured out what's going on with these. Uh, now, I do want to use this, but it'll spawn a Devil Deal. So we've got to use it, af we've got to use it after we beat the boss. But yes, I figured out what's going on with that room specifically. Um, that, that room with the spikes. Now I said is how it always shows up. It turns out 
that it's a room that can only appear on the depths of one and two. But because of a of a sort of mix up with the way that it's being set up, it always shows up on depths one and depths two. It, at least that's how I think it's working right now. So if we if we um ooh blackout nice, that was good. Lucky that I got the blackout when I did. If we take a look at the item room on the next floor, if what I what I think I've seen is correct, we should get that exact same item room. Or the reverse of it, like a flipped version of it, on the next floor. Because that's why I keep, I keep thinking it's so common. Because it quite literally is the item room every single time you go to the depths. Right, this might be the room we use the magician in. Yeah, it definitely is. Right, we're good to go. Kind of weird that you can fire the uh, the big Fred tier backwards. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it, like, the, the trail is facing the wrong way. Pretty strange. Yeah, the creepy is good. Oh, you see those dodges and that Bernie? That was so good. Completely uh, accidental, but still pretty cool. I see you there. Get some Fred tears about the place. Hello, hello. Good, good. Don't really need many more keys and money, but we'll keep getting them. I guess I'll take this. I do want to play this dude. I've got to admit, I do want to play this dude. Just because it's going to give me immaculate triggers. There's another one. Another resprited item. Lord of the Pit for flight and speed. I do think we take that. I think flight's pretty good for us right now. We've, we've been needing it in uh, various rooms. But yeah, the more damage we take, the more chance we have of Cambian Conception or Immaculate Conception triggering. Because obviously Immaculate when we heal the, uh, the red hearts that we've lost. We just need a good aura. At the minute, our auras kind of suck. We've not been getting the uh, the good auras for a little while here. Oh, we managed to skip a room here. Whoa, that was a mistake. Okay. Those enemies are like the embodiment of burn spurs. Thank you for that. Right. Uh, are we pretty much good to go on this floor? We did want to use the, um, what's it called, book before we leave. Which I think we'll try and remember to do. I know that it sounds stupid saying try to remember considering I'm in the fight now and about halfway through it. But there's, there's still a very strong chance I'll forget. I'm trying to keep talking about it so that I specifically remember. Okay, we actually got spun. That's awesome. Not only do we get spun, we got the damage up to go with it. That's great. So yeah, now, now I've remembered, we can go back. Because another thing as well is we have the D6, like, available to us. So not only do we get a blackout of this, we also get to reroll the, uh, the book. And we get chance to, uh, sh shoot spectral poison tears that have a random worm effect and, um... You gain a flat two damage up and have a chance. And also this gives us a fire rate up because of our trinket, right? Yes. That's really cool. We got we got some very interestingly synergistic stuff here. Cambion and Immaculate Conception working together. Um our uh thingy um planetarium item, while not synergizing with anything in particular, it's just a very sort of like full clearing type item. Anyways, I kind of should be looking for secret rooms really, but I'm bailing. And then, yeah, our our trinket is synergizing nicely with our two um, astrological items. I like that quite a lot. It's cool. And also, we should be getting a lot more health now. We should be seeing soul hearts pretty much on the regular. A theme here as well. Do I want a theme? I'm going to say no and come back and reroll that. Oh, god damn it. I keep trying to... Like, I keep being okay with taking damage because I'm like... It's okay, my aura will reroll. Every single time it gives me like speed or range. 
Hey, there's a half soul heart. Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of half soul hearts from this thing. Ow. Really should have finished the room before doing that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Pop this glitch card, see what happens. We got a golden pill. We did also get a look down. Teratogenesis. Okay, it's gone. That didn't last very long. Hey, blood bag. Unexpected. We also got a demon beggar here as well. Uh, not demon beggar, sorry. Uh, dark bum. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this room again. Room's annoying. Spinning wheel. Oof. You see what I mean? Look, it's this room again. It appears every single time. I don't know if I want spinning wheel. I haven't decided. I want to see if I get a reroll, maybe. Ooh. This room's got some hella sauce. Play this guy. He pairs out with an item. He definitely pairs out with an item. There you go. And now... You get cracked off. <laughs> What's this? Bless of the dead. Prevents curses from appearing for the rest of the run. Preventing a curse gets you, grants you a damage up. Good, but not really what we're looking for. We've already got means of getting damage. That's also good, but not what we're looking for. Right, uh, let's go and reroll a theme. Eh, hey, Tarot Cloth's great. We, we, we were very big then. Right, so let's try and find, find ourselves some more uh, money. Try and keep going with those rerolls in that room. I'm not looking for anything out of this world. I don't need an Arky or a death certificate. I mean, I would take either, but I'm not really, I'm not really fishing for that, uh, so to say. I will get what I get. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it for that room. That's all, folks. Right. Got a little bit more money and almost another reroll, which I'm definitely more tempted to reroll Spinning Wheel just because I doubt I'm going to use it. It just doesn't seem very fitting for what we've got going on right now. Right, so let's pop this a bit more. Still nothing great. We unfortunately ended up getting a bit shafted here. Now, I think we just reroll this. And you know what? Chance to enter Berserk State when taking damage. Uh, every every enemy uh, damage has a 5% chance to be erased for the rest of the run. It's not great. It's not really what we're looking for. And at this point, let's just take Spinning Wheel. Um, but I will, I will gladly grab it. Oh, we got ourselves one of these bad boys. Ooh, our first immortal heart. Also, nice to see that the immortal hearts have their own EID description. It'd be nice if the um, if the ones from Repentance Plus had that. Holy heart that regenerates upon completing a room in which the player received damage. The player may only have one immortal heart at a time. Invincibility timing after taking damage is reduced. So... Essentially, the way this works is we kind of have a heart that is a holy mantle. Essentially, we can take one free hit a room, and then the next hit after that, another song card here, the next hit after that would destroy the heart. But if we don't get hit again in that room, also these vizzes are going hard. If we don't get hit again in that room, it regenerates. We don't even have a full key piece yet, do we, unfortunately? Right, uh... I guess I'll just take that. Ooh, I mean, we can't... There's no point using that, but that is a resprite of the Dark Prince's crown there. Looking pretty cool. Let's 
We also got what looks like a new heart there as well. Dark matter. Do we just say no to Mega Satan? I think I'm just going to say no to Mega Satan. This is a new heart as well. That I can't seem to pick up. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I think that's a savage heart, if I remember correctly. I don't know why I can't pick it up. Um, I, I'm guessing it's a red heart that has to, like, heal you. Uh, so we can't grab it right now. But essentially what that heart does, the savage heart, it makes it so that when you, um... Uh, when you pick it up, you gain, like, a damage up that diminishes kind of like red stew. It's pretty good. But unfortunately, right now, we cannot have one. But yeah, I'm kind of saying Mega Satan, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Sort of thing. We got some good stuff going on right now. Damage is pretty popping, even without a, a good aura. We haven't had Temper Tandrum proc yet. I was hoping it'd be a little... I suppose, actually, I was, I was just going to say, I was hoping it'd be a little more common than that, but then I realised. Yeah, see, why can't we pick up this? Hmm. Okay, I've I've just found a, a pretty a pretty big bug. Right, let me let me go and uh, report this really quick. I'm almost certain what's happening here is because you can only have one eternal heart at a time, immortal heart, whatever they're called at a time. It's creating issues with custom hearts. Um, you can't pick up custom hearts. Okay. Hey, just got an immortal heart and it seems to be preventing me from picking up other custom parts such as from repentance plus and from the more mini isaac's cell heart Cool. They, they were really quick at responding to me last time. They, they pretty much fixed the thing that I had on my mind immediately, so... If they're, th if they're that quick again, I'd be very happy. Uh, we got Hot Bombs, which again has a resprite here, looking very smexy. Oh, we... We lost our Eternal Heart. Oh, wait. Okay. I think, I think that the Eternal, uh, sorry, Immortal Hearts, keep calling them Eternal Hearts. I think the Immortal Hearts can still be removed in a single hit if it's on the womb. Or maybe just self-damage, like Curse Rooms, doesn't count. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. It's a, it's a very new mod that came out today, so there's bound to be bugs. Um, and we'll, we'll try and report everything that we can. I don't think that was a bug. I think that was intended. I think that if you if you self damage on a floor the way like that like the womb where you take full heart damage, um, then it gets removed in one go rather than regenerating. I thought it regenerate, but it seems that's not the case, and that's perfectly fine. Um, that 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 balances them a little bit, I suppose. Oh, there you go. We get a uh, a rage mode here. I love that. That's so cool. 5% chance as well to erase enemy forever. If you're in that mode. I think that's pretty cool. I, I do regret picking up Spinning Wheel because we don't really have an opportunity to properly use it. And it's forcing me to tap shoot. <laughs> I have to tap shoot to prevent it proccing. But I knew the risks when I signed up for it for that item. I'm not going to blame anyone but myself. Ooh, I might have just re-rolled my aura. Excuse me? Okay. Oh my god, I just re-rolled it into range again. Oh, no, speed, sorry. I'm at full speed, so... Essentially, I re-rolled it into nothing. Ooh, careful of the families. God damn, remember when these enemies, before they got reworked, were just like... The most busted thing ever. They just spawned a Gemini baby. <laughs> like the boss. It was, it was ridiculous. It was so dumb. Thank God they got reworked. Sadly, we have to fight this dog shit boss. Ow. 
which is good though. Let's take a fire rate up there. Bone heart is filled as well. Next floor, I'm definitely just going to pop the sun card in the first room we enter on this floor. I was, was kind of going to use it that floor, but I forgot. <laughs> right, so you'll see what's in here. A single golden bomb. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Wow, that killed both of those dudes. I know that we've got, uh, what's it called? Um, tarot cloth for the double damage, but even still, I wasn't expecting to kill both. This is definitely a room that I am just absolutely just going from. I have golden bombs. I don't have time for this shit. Do you know what? I don't have time for this one either. Nah, not this one either. I don't I don't want to fight any of these rooms. <laughs> yep, this is another one that I'll be saying no to as well. Okay. Now the only room we actually legitimately have to fight. <laughs> hey, haunted chest, give us an item, give us an item. Hey, it's Ouija board. Uh do I want Ouija board or shall I reroll? I don't think Ouija board's too useful for us. Hypercoagulation is also not very useful, but there you go. We actually got an item from a spike chest and a haunted chest on this run. My mods coming together in perfect harmony. I say my mods, you know what I mean. Pedroff basically made it. <laughs> I just had the idea. It's same with the Lilith one. That was made basically entirely by um, the creator of the collection collections, but I just take credit because I'm a little goober. Even though I have no right to take credit. <laughs> I take credit for the idea. I am an ideas man. Right, up we go. I'll have, I do at least say this. I feel like my ideas are pretty good. And because I, I do... For those of you that don't know, I do come from a, a coding background. I actually did... Um, did um, computer science with games development for my university course. So I have a degree in it. But I don't really, uh, I don't really code anymore just because university killed my passion for it. I'm not saying that'll happen to everyone that goes to university for that sort of thing. But my university especially was not very good at teaching it. Um, and the work was extremely hard. Doing it with the games development element to it. Yeah, it's it, it, apparently, at least in my university, because it was, it, it, my university was a computer science university. Apparently, um... Or it was at least a technology university. It wasn't specifically computer science. But apparently the, like, physics is the only harder degree that you can do, apparently. So I really, I really put myself in it and uh, I had a pretty hard time. But anyways, because I came from that background, because I know about, um, what's this? Book of the Leviathan. Upon use, cripples all enemies. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time and dash 12 seconds of losing it. Requires a key to unlock and use it. Does nothing if used without keys. That's kind of intriguing. I like the idea of this. Hmm. Very intriguing. I'm not really sure what to think of this, to be honest. I'll, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure about it. I'm going to stick on my D6 for now. But that's a very cool item. Uh, but yeah, what, what, what I was trying to convey there is because I come from a background of coding, I kind of have a pretty good idea of of what's possible and what's not and like how to fix certain bugs. And even if I don't, I don't like Isaac mods are written in the language Lua. I don't know Lua, um, but it's not ridiculously complicated to kind of understand. Um even if I don't know how to write in it. And also, it's, it's kind of like another thing where it's like, I I feel like I'm, I was, de I mean, I passed my university degree, so I'm decent enough at coding. I, I, bear in mind, I haven't done it in like four years, five years at this point, so I'm, I'm extremely rusty. But I feel like I could get back into coding and be okay at it and make mods. I just don't really have the time. Um, obviously, my YouTube is kind of my main hobby that I do in my free time, and that takes up a lot of my time, so I just don't really have the time. And I like, as, as well as that, I just don't have enough of a want, especially considering, I know this sounds bad, especially to modders that are watching, I apologize, but when I have a good relationship with the modding communities and can, for the most part, work with them to make the things I want, <laughs> as long as they're not obviously ridiculous, they're not gonna be like, implement an entirely new boss, but I can like, share my ideas um is that gb bug um i can share my this is all all pretty good stuff here um i can share my ideas and um that, that sort of stuff and kind of 
either create a, a mod similar to what I wanted or help to get ideas I had implemented into existing mods or changes that I've had the ideas for. So, uh, like, at the same time of not really having the time, I don't particularly have the need. Like, there's nothing, like, huge mod-wise that I've, that I've sort of thought to make. I can't, I also have, like, smaller ideas that kind of come and go. And also, I do I do make mods myself. I mean, you guys have seen the mods that I've made on my series. Um, and on probably other people's series as well. And maybe even in your own game. Uh, they're, they're just not, like, heavily code-based. They're more, like, a bit more of the creative side than the coding side. Obviously, coding is quite creative, but it's also quite technical. I suppose the room creating process for um, for my secret rooms mod is still a bit technical because you need to know how to make rooms, and not only that, how to make good rooms. But it's not quite as technical as coding, is it really? Not quite the same thing. Also, this uh, this Tech X setup we got going on right now is pretty spicy. God damn, our damage has skyrocketed. We also seem to have gotten ourselves an Angel Familiar as well. Through healing up enough from Immaculate Conception. This has been, all in all, a pretty damn cool run. Got to see a lot of new resprites as well, which I'm happy about. Like, I really wanted to show them off a lot last episode, we just didn't really see many. So this episode's been a much better uh, showcase for the resprites. I'm very happy with a lot of them as well. I actually think slower tiers here is good, so I'm pretty happy with slowing them down. Right. On to the boss. Another respray here. I'll reroll that. Ultra Flesh Kid. Familiar that chases enemies, deals uh, damage to to the leech. Three stages, collect red hearts to evolve. Ooh. I want to upgrade this boy. Sadly, it's the end of the run. But anyways, that was a very quick kill. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Really, really fun run. I'll see you guys in the next one.